Now, I don't know if this is true, but probably it's true. You know the story? We thought the future of humanity was at stake. The United States was looking for cultural weapons. And the Venice Biennale was the Olympics of art. It was our moment. And the government was behind the show. From the very beginning, they wanted Rauschenberg to be the first American to win the International Prize for a Painting. I was considered a, a clown by nearly everyone else. The idea of encountering a goat, we didn't see anything like that before. Is it your theory not to have a theory? <laughs> <laughs> yes, more or less. <laughs> They had this absolute certainty that Rauschenberg was the new in art. But the paintings were all supposed to send a message about America, about freedom. American agencies sending art into Europe had to make people wonder, to what end could this be used? It was considered a diabolical trick. The State Department must be playing some role in this nefarious plot. People said, oh, Alice is just seducing all the jurors. Well, believe me, that would have taken a lot of seducing. <laughs> Soft power, that use of culture, can be an extraordinarily powerful tool. You really believe art can change society? I know it can. 